Look at this. You guys want to talk about a place dedicated to sledders? This guy comes around with a leaf blower and actually blows off the snow from your sled. Never seen anything like it. This place is 100% dedicated to snowmobiling and I love it. All right, well, we are just uh, getting ready for day two here. Packing up all our stuff at uh, Mikos. Hands down, best place we've ever been for sure. Cabin number six is where it's at. Right, buddy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got my buddy Derek here. And uh, Rich is over there. Just packing up some stuff here. Definitely wicked stay, you guys. If you're heading this way to Mont Laurier area, add this as your stop, and uh, try to stay here overnight. We met a couple, of, a couple of people too from Ontario that actually drove right here, and are staying here for uh, basically for the weekend. So pretty sweet. Look at this. You guys want to talk about a place dedicated to sledders? This guy comes around with a leaf blower and actually blows off the snow from your sled. Never seen anything like it. This place is 100% dedicated to snowmobiling and I love it. I want to live here. <laughs> How's that for service? Oh man. Thank you, buddy. Oh, it's just snowing pretty good, too. Pulling off the Gen 5 for me. Thank you very much, buddy. <laughs> oh, man, that is just ridiculous. Five star. Five star. That's how I want to roll in the future. Every place needs to model after this place, period. Full stop. All right, so we're just going to head over to uh, the front here and grab some gas. And we have a plan today uh, to head north. I'm not sure yet what that's actually going to, uh, to be just because we are getting some pretty heavy snow today. And it basically snowed all night. So depending on how conditions are, we'll sort of play it by ear. But right now we're uh, going to make our way to St. Anne du Lac and we're going to basically uh, grab some, uh, well, we're going to stop in St. Anne du Lac and then we'll, uh, we're going to probably do a northern loop, so. So just uh, right next to the main lodge here in Mikos, just getting some fuel. Boys are all set, ready to go. Amazing, they got super on site. Basically, all these uh, different outfitters that we've been staying at, every single one of them's got super, which is really convenient. All right, so we're just basically getting on the trail uh, that leaves Mikos, and we're going to be making our way over to uh, trail number 13, which is basically one of the Trans Canada trails. Took a quick look uh, this morning. It looks like not everything, but a lot has been groomed up uh, overnight. Not expecting perfect conditions today just because we had a lot of blowing snow overnight. The wind was absolutely howling. So you can see we're first tracks out here and probably gonna be a little bit loose today on the trail. But uh, in any case, I'm really excited. We got about a 300 and 50k-ish day today planned to do a big tour on the northern side now. So we're going to loop up towards Nottawisi, St. Anne de Lac, and then further north we're going to see how it is up to 100 lakh 
it's called and uh, again it's all dependent on trail conditions right because we do notice that the riding down here is definitely a little bit tighter than uh, what we've normally been used to for Quebec running so it takes you a little longer for sure to get the miles on around here but it's just beautiful scenery and again just an amazing experience as far as lodging amenities so far I, I, I've never had anything this good yet on any of the trips that we've been on to all our Ontario uh, viewers if you haven't ridden Quebec you definitely need to get out this way and even for uh, you know the Ontario business owners that folks that own the lodges definitely can take some uh, some notes from from some of these places in Quebec I mean it's just mind-blowing they're such caring uh, caring people and friendly people they make great food the dining experience is phenomenal the cabins are fantastic and how do you like that guy snow blowing our sleds this morning <laughs> just incredible nothing beats it all right so we're just in uh, St. Anne de Lac and basically just gonna run this lake right up to uh, the top portion and pick up the 13 again just letting uh, Rich and my buddy Derek stretch the legs a little bit on their uh, four strokes so they got the Moxie turbo and the cat uh, Thundercat turbo as well nice lake run beautiful up here All right, so we just whipped across the lake from uh, St. Anne de Lac and we're on the 13 and when you hit the other side of the lake, as you can see, trail is freshly groomed and perfect. So that's gonna make for a really nice ride up uh, to Nada We See. And again, once we, uh, we're gonna see kind of how the day goes, we've got a, a pretty big loop planned and it will just be dependent on the conditions and the type of riding so far. It's a lot of tight and twisty stuff, so that's why I wasn't really sure initially, so we kind of planned a couple of different options for today. And that is the nice thing about riding this uh, Mount Laurier area, is you basically have so many different trails and loops and stuff that uh, you can make it work based on whatever your needs are for, uh, you know, for riding. All right, so as you can see, we've just hit out of nowhere a pretty big blizzard, pretty much whiteout conditions, uh, very difficult to see. So we're just taking it easy. And once again, this is why I was talking a little bit earlier about how important it is to, you know, make sure you know the area, plan your ride, but plan it accordingly. So this might put, you know, a little bit of a, a damper on the routes that we go for today like the different trails that we were planning on doing or the size of the loop so obviously we're traveling at a much slower pace now so we'll just have to sort of keep an eye on things see if it lets up at all but as of right now man you talk about snow it is coming down i think it's getting brighter up here so looks like it's actually letting up a bit so pretty cool Rich's Garmin another big plus with those Garmin's the one he's got actually gives you uh, satellite radar information so he was actually getting notifications on his Garmin display that we were gonna be hitting a snow squall so looks like we're uh, just coming out of it now which is awesome all right so we're just coming into uh, not a now for uh, for fuel And this place is actually owned by uh, Mikos as well. So they built another place in here. Which again looks uh, pretty nice coming in here. Just beautiful. Out on the lake. We're going to get some fuel. And we'll be back on our way. But yeah, welcome to uh, Club Nottawisi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi, you. 
Good, good. Yeah, we're just going to get some uh, fuel, some gas. Okay. Hello, how are you? Bonjour. We're just gonna get some uh, fuel, some gas. Oh yeah, no problem. I'm gonna call it gay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> these places are. I'm gonna call it gay. These places are just unreal. Pool table, Pool table food, bar, everything. Wolf. Cool, eh? Definitely a cool spot. These are all cabins for rent? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, so big too. Well, we came from um, your other place, Mikos. Uh, Mikos? Yeah. Okay. Where do you go? Uh, we're just going up and around to 100 uh, de Lac. Okay. And then back down into Mont Laurier. Oh, okay. So it's a uh, long, it'll be a big. Nice ride. Yeah? Have you done it? No, no. I just done my uh, my course for uh, ski do. I not uh, use this uh, so much. Okay. <laughs> but it shows it shows you can also go to Rabaska Lodge this way. Uh, I I'm not very sure, but you have the the map there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we are just uh, continuing on 13 North, and we're actually heading into Pourvoire. Cheval, which is uh, kind of another stop on the tour, right at the at the sort of northern part of Trail 13. Everything's so well signed coming in too. So we're just coming into Pouvoiré, Fairwell Cheval, and so you can see here they've groomed up to here and groomed it nicely to go in here, which is awesome. Oh, maybe this is the actual uh, groomer shed. Must be. Cool. All right, here we go. Another Slutter Haven. Just awesome. You guys want a coffee or anything or just gas and roll? Like, what do you want? Okay. Are we stopping to eat or no? Mm, no? Okay. Probably not. We're not going to head like an actual gas station though until we get back towards Mount Warrior. So there's, but there's gas here though. There's gas here. Yeah. Now, but like in terms of buying a snack. I think 100 Delac has gas too. Yeah. But if you guys want to do lunch, we'll do lunch at 100 Delac. Oh shit, I don't care wherever. I, I wasn't just probably another 50k maybe perfect sounds good to me boys right all right well we just finished up a uh, great stop here boys are all ready to go we are uh, just leaving this uh beautiful place called Pourvoire 100 Lacs. Awesome, awesome stop. Boys had some good food in there. Another nice lodge with cabins and whatnot to stay. So we're just gonna get back on to the 33 and make our way basically back down to, uh, back down towards Mikos. So should be, uh, should be a good run. All these places, I love the way that they're kind of set up and they've got packages basically it's kind of just like one price and they give you a couple different options for meals so like this place basically just had an option for you know you get a soup you get a and then you can choose your main like you get a lasagna or you get you know chicken or whatever it was um pretty awesome 
All right, well, we were just uh, taking the 33 down, and basically you've got two options when you're coming back down from uh, 100 uh, to lock. Basically, you can keep going on the 33, or there's a local trail, it's marked orange on the map. And so we opted to try the local trail just because some of the feedback we've seen from online and some of the guys we were talking to said that this was good, and it turns out it's definitely good. A lot of snow on the trail, so we're pushing like crazy today, but just a beautiful trail in good shape. Clearly hasn't had the traffic, I think, that some of the main Trans-Quebec uh, trails have had, so we're going to basically take this back down. About 167 clicks into uh, Mont Laurier, I believe, the way that we've uh, opted to go right now, so... So far so good, it's been a good day's ride. We're just uh, sort of early afternoon coming into some snow here too. So a couple of good things from this trip that we're, you know, really, really loving is number one, our bite hider safety lights. The guys were basically just telling me best thing since sliced bread. When you got lots of snow dust and like it's super cold like this, that snow is just hanging in front. So. All of our guys are wired up with the uh, the bite harder snow, uh, the bite harder helmet light safety lights, and I know Craig uh, Nicholson's whole Intrepid crew. Basically, everybody who rides with them rides with one. And then the other thing is our cardos, obviously. So it's just great to have communications between everybody. We can uh, warn them for you know other riders that are coming ahead. So they really just. Uh, they work really well for us. Back into some of the tight stuff again here. About 2,000, I'm actually no, I'm probably over that now. I got about probably 2,500 maybe on this thing. This new 850 XRS from Skidoo is just absolutely awesome. Even Rich was saying like, he didn't love our G4s so much, but he got on this thing the other night and he was like, wow. And I think he's considering maybe uh, for his third sled for the family will be one of these. The sled has been absolutely great. We got the RPM issues all sorted out now, so if anybody's got a new 23850, make sure you get it to the dealer for an ECM update. And a big thanks to my buddy Jamie for all the... Uh, the help getting this one clutched the way that uh, I like it. I know he spent a lot of time, uh, probably the last four weeks, just working on clutching, different clutching options for these things, and he's really got them dialed in now for us. So, big thanks to you, buddy. Hope you're having an awesome weekend. Jess, my dude, you are missed on this trip. Did a couple of FaceTimes with Jesse while he's in New York, obviously studying hard for uh, med school. And I'm sure, you know, he's probably sad that he's not on this one with us, but he's here in spirit. And of course, helped me actually plan this one too. So even though he's not riding with us, he's always part of the program. To be honest, guys, I kind of wish I had my backcountry because uh, these trails got a lot of snow on them and I think could benefit with a bigger plug track so the plan is we're actually going to be making our way back down I believe into uh, into Mikos and we'll probably get some more gas there and then from there we're gonna head back down into Mont Laurier well this 233 trail turned out to be absolutely amazing as always my favorite time to ride as the Sun's coming down and you're pointing into it just coming into uh, Saint Anne du Lac And man, we have rolled on some K. I think we're, uh, I think we got about 635K on so far since we've been up here the last couple of days. So we'll probably finish off around 725 for the trip, which is uh, pretty sweet. We added some distances here and there made some slight adjustments but uh, otherwise it's been fantastic
right, what's going on everybody? We just uh, wrapped up a 700 and how many K? 726. 726K two day tour here in uh, Mont Laurier. Absolutely fantastic time. Boys just got back to uh, the hotel room. Boys, how are we doing? We're good, doing man. great. Fantastic. Awesome. Everyone's feeling good. Yeah, got a awesome. couple of pints in front of them. It was an awesome yeah. trip. What are the highlights for you? Some of the best parts of the trip? Devil's Mountain. Devil's Mountain. I would agree. Devil's Mountain was yeah, pretty spectacular. And all the lodges too, man. Mikos, yeah. All the lodges are awesome. Mikos was amazing. Five star all the yeah. way. Our yeah. cabin was unreal. That was I, awesome. I agree. Mikos was a pretty fantastic spot. We toured around all the uh, pourvoiries, which were pretty cool. And uh, Font Brune, I would say, was probably another one to check out if you're uh, coming up this way. But Rubasca. Yeah, Rabaska Lodge yeah, also Rabaska was, was amazing. Like, yeah, food, Very cool place. Was really good. All the food that we had, all the dining experiences, the lodging was superb. So we're going to uh, wrap up with something simple, a couple of pizzas tonight. And uh, yeah, if you guys ever get the chance to come to Mont Laurier, definitely check it out. Pretty awesome place to ride. And uh, thanks for tagging along with us, and we'll see you guys on the next one. If you like that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiling. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.